and welcome to my channel and welcome to yet another rainy Sunday afternoon um, so I'm going to talk to you today about a negative lab pro now I've kind of resisted buying it up until this point um, I've seen an awful lot of um, things about it online and some of it I thought maybe was high, maybe I could go in there using Photoshop and Lightroom and do exactly the same thing myself. Um, so I thought I'd get the test version which gives you 12 uh, images that you can uh, edit for free um, before it needs some money off you. Um, I thought I'd go from there. The cost of the, the software, that's what was kind of making me think a little bit about it because um, it's 99 US dollars, um, which uh, 70 or 80 pounds in uh, UK, but with the AT on top of that. So it takes it back up to being close on 100 pounds, which for a plug-in for Lightroom is quite a price um, so my thoughts were it better be worth it um, so anyway without any further ado I'll go through uh, what I found right all you do is go to negative lab pro site uh, download it for your operating system and uh, that's the trial software which will give you the ability to uh, turn 12 negatives into positives and use their system on it. Um, it all comes down as a zipped file. You unzip that to create a folder on your C drive for the plugin part, and the profiles go into your Adobe Lightroom Classic um, files, your, your um, plugin files. Now, um, with those, uh, with the with the whole software, you have to use it with Lightroom Classic. Um, you can't actually use it with the web version of Lightroom, which um, Adobe supply as well when you have their um, Creative Cloud. So here am I bringing a new negative in. Uh, it's a few years old, this one now. And uh, I'll bring that one in. Just down there. Now, what you'll see me do here is well, get rid of that, which is warning me I've already imported it. Um, so uh, I'm going to do a custom white balance, which I do from the edge of the film. Now, strictly speaking, I should now crop it before I change it, but um, before I actually let um, Negative Lab Pro work on it, but I left that stage out here. It doesn't seem to make a lot of difference with this image. Um, we're going to choose whether which scanner profile we want because it'll do a drum scanner profile, um, a uh, Naritsu or the um, Fotima. Um, so I've chosen the Fotima there, and then uh, I've let that uh, open up. It just takes a few seconds, and there's the image. And then you can work on it with the color controls um, and sharpening, etc., that you have within uh, the Negative Lab Pro sliders. There, the only thing that I find a little difficult with this is that once it's input, once it's um, applied, what you have on uh, Lightroom is a negative, although you're seeing it in positive form which means all the controls for everything else are a little bit screwy. They're kind of, um, if you um, go to decrease the exposure, you in fact, you increase it, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, Which means if you want to choose to do something like turn it into a black and white image or whatever, um, it becomes a little difficult and you have to end up by saving it and then re-importing it.
Well, it's been a few days since I recorded the first part of this uh, video. Uh, Give me a little bit of time to try uh, Negative Lab Pro a bit more. Um, and to have um, a good think about uh, the pros and cons of whether it's worth it. And I have, I will say, I have bought it. Um, and at full price because I don't um, have any deals with them or, or anything like that. Um, and I give honest opinions on uh, software and hardware that I use. Um, I'm in a little bit two minds about Negative Lab Pro. It's good at what it does. That is, it takes negatives and it doesn't exactly turn them into positives, it turns them into a positive that you can output from Lightroom. But, as I said earlier in the video, um, if you want to actually turn the... Uh, you want to use any of the effects that you get within Lightroom, even um, vignette or anything like that, it becomes extremely difficult. And I'm kind of quite used to being able to use Lightroom tools um, the way they were kind of intended. So yes it's incredibly useful and yes I'm glad I bought it, but it's not quite as um, great to rave about as I probably initially thought. Um, yes I can um, do things with it that I couldn't otherwise do. Um, or not as easily, but it is still quite a lot of money and 99 a quid, um, which is what it amounts to at the time you've paid the VAT, is quite a chunk for something that does one job. Admittedly it does it well, but it just does one job. Um, my feeling, I, I mean you, you have really no choice because I don't think there's another piece of software. People, but please come into the comments and correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think there's another piece of software like uh, Negative Lab Pro that does the job. So you, you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because you either use it or you um, just use the controls that you've got within Lightroom and within Photoshop to do the same kind of thing, which, as I said earlier, takes much longer. Um, and is probably less reliable in, in the long run. Um, yeah, I would have been much happier had that been a £50 plug-in rather than what amounts to a £100 plug-in. Um, but there you have it. You pay as your money, or rather I do, and you take your choice. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, then please give me a like down below and if you want to see more then please um, think about subscribing. Anyway, see you soon, take care, bye for now.